Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got two chords A, B and C, D that intersect each other at 90 degrees inside this circle as you can see in this diagram. And moreover, this chord A, C is 4 units whereas this chord B, D is 8 units and O is the center of the circle. Now we are going to calculate the combined area of this uh, blue shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw some auxiliary lines. Let me go ahead and draw the diameter over here that passes through the center O and this is our point E over here. So our diameter is EB and in this next step we have connected these two points D and E and here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's recall the Thales theorem according to this theorem if we got these points B, D and E on the circle where this line AB is the diameter then our this angle BDE is going to be 90 degrees therefore our this angle EDB turns out to be 90 degrees and now let's assume that alpha and beta are two complementary angles in other words some of these two angles alpha plus beta equals to 90 degrees. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle EDB. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. I'm going to call this angle alpha. Then its complementary angle this is going to be angle beta. And in this next step we got this chord BC by connecting these points B and C. Now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this triangle BPC and this triangle BDE. And now let's focus on this arc BD and we can see that this arc BD subtends uh, this angle alpha at the circumference. We can also see that this uh, very same arc BD subtends uh, this uh, same angle at this uh, circumference as well. If this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle BPC. We know this is our 90 degree angle. This is our angle alpha and we know alpha and beta are our complementary angle. So therefore this angle has got to be beta. Now let's focus on this arc AC. This uh, subtends uh, angle beta at the circumference. And we can also see that this arc ED also subtends uh, this angle beta at the circumference. So therefore we conclude that this uh, arc AC equals to this arc ED since they both uh, subtend uh, the angle beta. Therefore, this chord AC is going to be equal to this chord ED. And we know that this chord AC is 4 units. So, so therefore, this chord ED is going to be 4 units as well. And we can see now this uh, blue shaded region is going to be identical to this uh, region as well. So therefore we are going to focus on this region since they are identical and now we are going to calculate the area of this blue shaded region over here. Now we can see by looking at this equation this blue shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this semicircle minus the area of this right triangle BDE. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle BDE and we know that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. 
And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 4, so this become 4 square. b in our case is 8, so 8 square equal to c square. Now let's simplify, 4 square is 16 plus 64 equal to c square. So therefore c square turns out to be 80. Let's undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore c value equals to, and if we simplify square root of 80 over here, as you can see it turns out to be equal to 4 times square root of 5. Therefore, c value turns out to be 4 times square root of 5. So therefore, our c value turns out to be 4 times square root of 5. And we know that this eb length is 4 times square root of 5. And this is same as the diameter. So if we want to calculate the radius, we are going to divide it by so therefore our radius r is going to be 2 times square root of 5. So let me go ahead and write down our this radius r is going to be 2 times square root of 5. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle over here. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square in our case. Uh, our radius r is 2 times square root of 5. So therefore the area of this semicircle I'm going to say s of s is going to be equal to pi r square divided by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle. Now we know our radius is 2 times square root of 5 so I'm going to replace over here. So therefore the area of this semicircle is going to be pi times 2 times square root of 5 whole square divided by 2. Let's simplify this thing. So that is going to be if we uh, take care of this square that is going to give us 4 times 5 is 20 times pi divided by to. So therefore our this area of a semicircle turns out to be 10 pi if we simplify this thing and that is our one of the steps. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle BDE. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base uh, times a height. And here in our case our base is 4 and our height is 8. So therefore the area of this right triangle BDE is going to be A of uh, I'm going to say T. A of T is going to be a half time base is 4 times height is 8. And if we simplify the right hand side our area of this uh, triangle is going to be 16. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. So this is equal to the area of this uh, semicircle that in our case is A of S minus the area of this triangle BD which is uh, A of uh, T. So therefore this blue shaded area is going to be in our case uh, area of this semicircle is uh, 10 uh, pi minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 16. So therefore our this uh, area of this blue shaded region uh, turns out to be 10 uh, pi minus uh, 16. And if we plug in, in this uh, pi value so therefore our area is going to be approximately equal to 15.42 square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 10 pi 
minus 16 square units or it is approximately equal to 15.42 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.